Hello. <laughs> Always sit down. No idea what I'm supposed to be saying. But yeah, uh, if you clicked on this video, thank you for clicking on it. I've got a bunch of things to show you today. This vlog, I think, is officially the longest vlog I've ever put together. This here studio vlog. It's a lot of me like opening packages of fun of fun things. It's a lot of me talking to the camera and feeling different feelings. If you notice this big stack of t-shirts behind me, it's because I did a lot of screen printing. And ironically, the t-shirt that I'm screen printing in this studio blog is not one of these. But what the heck? What the heck? I'm gonna show you. Yeah, this t-shirt is not the one that I made in the studio vlog, so you'll have to watch to see that design. But I just finished um, making this one. And a little froggy on the front. A little froggy on the back. So this is another t-shirt, but I'm in the middle of ironing these. Anyway. Gotten a little sidetracked, but that's all I'm thinking about these days. And yeah, a lot of working, designing little fun things for packaging, and just kind of going through a few days and showing you what I did that day. Honestly, I can't remember myself, so I'm gonna have to rewatch this vlog myself. Uh, but yeah, enjoy! I don't know what's right after this, I can't remember, but I think you'll like it, so stay tuned. Very exciting. I just got a new office chair because my current chair is it's good, it's comfy, but it doesn't have armrests and when I draw uh like my arm goes dead because I have to like and my shoulder is bad because I have to support it with my shoulder so I'm like crunching a lot. This is well this is the current chair, we love it. Mike thrifted it for me in like a Goodwill in upstate New York years ago. But now we got this new guy, so let's open it up, put it together, hopefully it'll be good, I don't know. Yeah. I love it. Um extremely comfortable. Wow. Gotta say, good back support. We'll see how it does in the long run. This is definitely the most money I've ever spent on an office chair. But then again, up until today, I have not like invested any money or thought into like buying a decent office chair because I've never really had a job before um, the past year or two where I've been sitting at a desk for so long. Yeah, lots of money, maybe like $250, a little bit less, but mm, initial thoughts worth it. And look at the color. It's beautiful. It's so bright. Let's see if it gets really dirty quickly, especially because I always sit on my feet when I work. So. We'll see how this goes. But yeah, I got from Laura Furniture. No complaints yet. Good morning. So, it's Thursday. I'm still waking up. I've been awake for a few hours. Maybe at least 
an hour and a half and but I still do not feel awake and my eye bags show that I think so I'm gonna get dressed maybe put on some under eye concealer so if I look in the mirror I can trick myself into thinking that I'm less tired than I am um, and then I'm gonna get to work I have some screen printing materials coming in today um, I ordered a screen with a design on it and I have some blank t-shirts coming in the mail and I think I have like a rubber stamp for envelopes with like my mailing address on there I think that's all coming today so it should be a fun day as far as opening things go so yeah and then I just have like little drawing things to do in between so I guess I'm just gonna try to show you as much as I can. We'll see how much actually gets done today. Uh, if all goes well, I'll try screen printing a t-shirt today. This was the mock-up that was sent to me for the screen that I ordered. I ordered it from a company called, I think it's called like Anthem, does it say? Yeah, <laughs> Anthem Screen Printing. Uh, it's my first time ordering from them, so we'll see how it goes. But so far, the experience has been lovely. And yeah, so this is what the screen is going to look like when it arrives, hopefully today. Um, and then this is the design. That will be screen printed onto the t-shirts um, and it says art is my passion and the person is shaking nervously because I don't know about you but I don't have much confidence <laughs> just kidding not kidding just kidding whatever um, so yeah so the designs gonna be eight and a half by 10.6 inches on a t-shirt which is hopefully a good size I just kind of hope for the best um, but yeah the design is based on Let's take a field trip here. Um, previous Rezo print that I made that's now out of stock, but I have a couple left for my own purposes. Um, so it's based on this, it's like a simplified version. So um, I'm not sure if I'll ever be restocking this, maybe. Because um, I do like it, but yeah, I thought it would make a cute t shirt. So see what happens. Okay, so I think something has arrived downstairs. Something's been delivered. Um, I think it's my rubber stamp, so I'm gonna walk downstairs and get it, but also I'm going to uh, I'm going to mail this single order, which is really easy because the post office is really just a block away So I just kind of I try to mail things and Like pack them up and mail things as they come in so I don't just sit on a bunch of orders So even if it's just a single order, it's so easy for me to drop off that way it just gets out there faster um so yeah i'm gonna drop that off I'm going to bring up my package one of many for today which is kind of fun and i'll show you what's up A little bit of a change of scenery. I brought you guys into my kitchen. I'm going to be making this Trader Joe's mandarin orange chicken. Some leftover rice and vegetables. That's not why we're here. We're here to open up this package. Oh, 
cute. So this is what it's going to look like. Hopefully it'll actually stamp like that. Oh, so cute. I've never gotten one this uh, big before. So let's, let's test her out. I'm oh, nervous. Oh, that works so well. I'm happy with that. How cute, how cute. It works a lot better than the last stamp that I had, so. ah. Michael! <laughs> what the heck? I think I'm enormous. This That's some cute, good work, bud. That's great design work. How much does that cost? Uh, maybe like $20. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. That's so cute. Not bad at all. Okay, um, my packages just arrived, so I think these are uh, my screen for screen printing and a bunch of t-shirts. So I'm just going to double check, but I'm open up this one first. So I got a variety of sizes and just like a white. So yeah, I think these are yeah, just plain white t-shirts, which is great. Hold it up. But yeah, a bunch of different sizes. Um, I'm not sure what color I'm going to screen print onto here yet, but I might do some tests. They feel like pretty good quality. So. That'll be fun. I have no idea where I'm going to keep all of the t-shirts in here. No idea. Okay, so this should be my screen. This is what I'm most excited about because I've never ordered anything like this before. I haven't done screen printing since college so a good like six seven years and even then like I never took a class it was just my friends showing me how to screen print so I don't think it's that hard but we'll find out If this all goes well, I'll order more screens and do more designs because I like the idea of apparel. Okay. Screen printing is not a crime. Nice sticker. Ooh. This is cool. This is going to look pretty cool on a t-shirt. Oh, I hope it's not too big. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. Cool. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. It's going to look good. It's gonna be like huge. This is like, this is obviously very tight on me. And I'm a small person, but uh, I think on most t-shirts this will look so good. Ah, all right. So the plan is to kind of clear off this half of the desk. This is my whole desk, a little bit messy. Um, and do the screen printing on this side. 
and then hopefully just find a spot somewhere in this room to hang all the t-shirts to dry. Um, but yeah, oh, I think I'm gonna do some tests. I'm nervous, I hope this isn't too big. No, it'll be fine, it'll be good. Okay, here is my makeshift screen printing station. Uh, I have this board to lay the t-shirt and the screen down. I mixed up this like orange red color. And if I don't like that color, then I'm gonna go with maybe a blue, but I don't know. We're all experimenting here. We'll see how it goes. Supergirls are the most popular girls in the future. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. La di da. Uh, do I have a spot to put the screen after I'm done? No. Okay, so I finished up for the day. I don't know how much I got done. An okay amount, but it uh, this half of the apartment is a disaster zone. I have shirts hanging everywhere. I sacrificed our closet for <laughs> drying space. Don't even look over there, it's a mess. Um, but yeah, most of it came out okay. Considering it's my first time, it's not so bad. Uh, I did have a few where the prints didn't come out complete, but the rest of it's okay. So I think I might like offer the misprints at a discount. We'll see, but I am very tired and I have to clean all this up. So I'm going to wrap it up.
Friday. Um, I'm pretty tired. Not feeling great today. Uh, or at least like I woke up in a really good mood and then now I feel like garbage. Um, and I know you're not really supposed to like compare yourself a lot to other people, but I've been doing that a lot lately. And yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I should be doing better than I am or like what I make isn't good enough um, or it's not the right kind of stuff to be successful that makes sense like if it's not if my stuff isn't as accessible to people as like maybe some like cuter stuff I don't know if that makes sense uh, but that's okay. Sometimes I feel really good about it and then I just will like crash immediately. And so I feel like that's what happened where I was feeling pretty confident and then I just, you know, started overthinking things and overanalyzing and looking at what other people were doing and seeing how other people were really growing on Instagram and YouTube and what, you know, wherever. And then Yeah. You know, I'm very, that's the thing where I don't want to sound ungrateful because I am I'm very thankful to be where I am and like what I'm doing now and I can do it full time. I do get a lot of help from Mike, which is nice and I'm very thankful. You know, I had, I do have that safety net and I don't want to disregard that, but I guess that makes me feel a little bit guilty because I want to be able to completely like, stand on my own two feet by myself or contribute more than I am but I don't know I guess I'll get there I guess I'm just going at a different pace than other people but it feels like I'm just not as successful as I'd like to be I don't really know even what that means so, I don't know. I just gotta keep going forward, I guess. Just not gonna give up. That, that wouldn't make sense. Alright. Let's get to work. I think I mentioned this yesterday, but given that this is my first time um, screen printing on t-shirts, I do have a few that are a little less imperfect. Like the main design is is okay, but you know, little spots that are missing ink. And I think I'm still going to sell them, but maybe uh, at a pretty good discount. That way, like if some people don't mind the missing ink. And they can still get some and it's and I'm not wasting t-shirts and I'm not wasting money so I think it'll be a win-win uh, but yeah um, hopefully the next batch of t-shirts that I do I won't mess up so many but you know still learning that's just how it goes
Yeah, um, I can't wait to get all of the t-shirts out of my closet because I took out most of my clothes and all of Mike's t-shirts out of our closet and uh, yeah, it's a mess. I don't like looking at a mess when I look over in, into the side of the room. So sooner I get this all cleaned up, the better. Cause it's driving me crazy. Clean the toilet all by myself. What? I clean the toilet all by myself. You cleaned it? Yeah. Buddy. I did it. <laughs> what? I was filming. Oh no! <laughs> that was my biggest fear. <laughs> I was just joking. I I didn't take a massive poop. <laughs> Whatever. It's all right. People that know, they know. They know. They if you know, know you know. Uh, okay. Mike is lactose intolerant and doesn't care. <laughs> he eats that yogurt. He eats that cheese. He drinks that milk. No, he doesn't. It's mostly cheese. Mm-hmm. Let it be known that this is the best folding I've ever done in my life. I'm not a folder, I hang things up. But I looked up a TikTok hack and it seems to work. Incredible. Hi, it is Monday, Monday, and I'm trying to figure out what I have to do today. I think it's just a lot of drawing, but I also might uh, screen print some more shirts. We'll see how it goes. I'm about to like make my little schedule for the week. Um, I'll give you a quick glance. Well, this is last week, if this will focus. This is last week. Um, I used Notion and I'm still kind of figuring out exactly how I like to organize things on here. But, oh, and let me scroll up. This is by Cheyenne Barton. So cute from her Patreon, like a little freebie, love it. Um, but yeah, that's last week. So I think the immediate things I have to do is uh, pack an order, um, draw some sketches for Patreon, whoa, and screen print shirts. But I don't know in what order. Um, my cousin is getting married at the end of this week, so that means like I lose like a day and a half. Um, but that's okay. And maybe i'd like to print some more rizo stuff uh sorry we was we lost a toy lulu i'll get it for you bye bye watch your paw lewis hey anyway yeah um I'll get for you. I'll get for you. Yeah, so I don't know. It's kind of like I know generally what I have to do, but nothing is due immediately, which is fine. Um, nothing is due immediately. <laughs> oh, yeah, but let me show you something that Mike found on the street for me, which is great. Let's go. Where's Mike working? Huh? Huh? <laughs> but Mike found this, uh, <laughs> what, uh, clothes hanger? Clothes hanger. It's little, but now I don't have to empty out our closet. For free. We love street garbage that works for us. Right, Mike? Can't show me talking off on company time. Oh, you're not. Okay, back to work. Back to work. Everything's a little messy. That's okay. Oh 
don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna figure it out. I have no idea what I'm doing today. I do, but I don't. So I have to pack one single order and it should take me like five minutes max, but I'm trying to think of a way that would extend that time by so much longer and it's so unnecessary, but maybe perhaps visually appealing or at least interesting or entertaining. I'm gonna figure it out, but I present to you one order from catschneider.com slash store. Actually, I want to be kind of careful doing this. I don't want to be kind of careful. There we go. And thus concludes the single order I had to pack today. Thank you for joining me. I know that was extremely entertaining. Okay, okay, welcome back. Uh, that was the vlog, that was the whole thing. Thanks for watching it if you watched this far. My longest studio vlog ever. No one's home right now, which is why I feel the need to be chatty and weird. Um, but let me get a little closer to you. We're closer now, we've spent so much time together. It's been like a half hour. I'm losing my mind. Um, and okay yeah thank you for watching if you haven't already please like all the youtubers say like and subscribe it would mean a lot and i'll see you next time thanks for watching oh wait yeah i forgot um these t-shirts by the time hold on by the time this video is up the t-shirts should be in my shop so check it out new products New prints, new t-shirts, fun things. Thank you. Okay. Catchnighter.com slash store. All right. Like and subscribe. Yeah. All right. Bye.